This is solenoid maintenance for a 180R. In order to get to the solenoid assembly, you'll first have to remove the grips and frame from your 180R. You can learn how to do that here. And once you've removed your frame and grips, you're going to need to remove the solenoid assembly. First thing you need to do is take the solenoid and unplug that from the circuit board. Be careful obviously not to stress the wires. It's the second plug down from the top. We'll need to unravel that plug from the wire tidy here. Be a little fiddly. Let's rotate the wire tidy. That should pop out. <clears throat> Move that to one side, make sure it's not trapped on anything else. Then you have retaining pin here, push from the small side, just to push the pin out, and then you can grab that, slide that solenoid retaining pin out, and then you can gently push the solenoid assembly out from the bottom there, flat out to the top. Now there is a gasket from the frame to the solenoid body, want to make sure that it either stays in the frame inside there or inside the actual solenoid body itself. As you can see there is a filter inside there. Uh, this will need to be replaced from time to time. This is there to protect the drivetrain and the solenoid assembly from dirty air from uh, fill stations. So do need to take this out and replace it every so often. Okay, once the solenoid assembly is out, place the frame to the side. You can remove the gasket from the top. You can start disassembling the solenoid assembly. Two screws on the pilot valve. You need to take those all the way out first. Then the pilot valve will lift off. There's just two screws, there's nothing serviceable inside the pilot at all. So that can be just placed to one side, ready to reattach afterwards. Have two more small screws holding the manifold plate on. Just remove both of those. Lift the manifold plate off. Take out the two screws. And then we just want to inspect the gasket on this side. So just make sure that the gasket is sat down fully inside the manifold there. Should be no need to remove that or replace that. It's just a static seal. Um, just want to make sure that when we reassemble it, it's sat in place before we screw it all back together again. That allows us to access the spool from the small side at the back here push on the spool, slide that out, and then remove the old grease from that, you can inspect all the seals, make sure they all look good. While we have it apart, it's always a very good test just to make sure that the, um, the 6x1 on here is nice tight fit. So just take the spool out, take the body and we just want to slide it in backwards there and this should be a nice snug fit. It shouldn't fall out even with a good shake. You should be able to feel this is nice and snug sliding in and out of the solenoid body there. 
that's a good sign. Once we've got it all cleaned, give that application of grease on all those O-rings. And then we can slide that back into solenoid body. Manifold plate. Two screws back in. These don't want to be tight. These are literally just locators. So just fingertip tight with these. And then reattach. Pilot valve. Attaching this, make sure to go from side to side. Don't over tighten one side first. Again, just nip up with fingertips. And that's the solenoid rebuilt. Have our gasket, make sure the gasket and filter is inside, is inside there. Make sure all these wires that are coming across the top of the frame pull to one side. Make sure that the wire the solenoid comes through to the pocket inside the frame, slide that back down. You should be able to feel that locate back on top the gasket inside the frame. If you've got it reassembled correctly to this point, then the pin should just go back in relatively easily, and that just leaves the gasket to go back on top. Just clip that back in. You can rework. the wire back into the wire tidy now we can plug that back into the MME board don't push on top of the wires at this point don't stick your finger on top and push that down because that will compress the wires and potentially snap them so you're better just applying a bit of pressure just to the top of the plug itself and pushing that back into place. Maybe worth at this point just checking that solenoid is all connected properly so we can power it up. Pull the trigger. Should be able to hear the solenoid clicking or the pilot valve clicking. That means we've reassembled and everything's attached correctly. Switch that back off. And at this point, you can reattach your frame and your grips back onto your 180R body. And you can do that, again, using the instruction video here. And rebuild your 180R after you have serviced and maintained your 180R solenoid assembly.